Hello, my name is Dr. Ed Norton Thoreau, or Dr. ENT. I'm an otolaryngology head and neck surgeon. Today, I will be reviewing five different scenes from film and TV depicting airway obstruction necessitating an emergency cricothyroidotomy, a term often used interchangeably with tracheostomy but technically is different. Let's check out the first clip from the hit TV show Grey's Anatomy. To 58 year old male, NBC, typing 160, BP80 pout, decreased bilateral and breast sounds. What did you do? I didn't do it, he did. G.I. Joe traked him at the field before I got there. With a pen? You traked this guy with an ink pen? So? Apparently, the patient suffered an airway obstruction after a car accident, most likely due to some type of head and or neck trauma. Assuming mouth-to-mouth -mouth respiration was not possible for whatever reason, a bystander soldier performed an emergency cricothyroidotomy in the field using a pen for airway. Not a trach, as stated by the EMT. This scene perfectly depicts what it may look like after a successful cricothyroidotomy. Why is he blowing into the pen? Mainly because a pen with its small diameter does not allow for easy respiration for the patient. Imagine breathing through a drinking straw. It's hard, so the soldier assists the patient's breathing with forced air. Very nicely done overall. Oh damn, what's that? Uh. Ugh. Wasp. Deadly. Poisonous. In this scene from the movie Anaconda, airway obstruction has occurred from airway swelling from getting stung by a wasp. Don't ask me how the wasp got into the mouth in the first place. He's still not breathing. What are we gonna do? Oh God, how does this happen? Ask I got whiskey in my flask. <laughs> Quickly. What's that for? What are you Ooh. Oh, God. Oh. Before jumping to an emergency crack with aridotomy, the bystanders still should have tried mouth-to-mouth -mouth respiration first. Whiskey, which would contain alcohol, is better than nothing to sterilize the skin, but honestly not sure how much that really helps. The stab puncture location itself with a knife appears to be correct, but typically an initial vertical incision is performed first rather than just a stab puncture. There should also be quite a bit more bleeding. <sighs> That's it. It's gonna be alright. Unfortunately, one can I just stick a straw into the airway after a crack with aridotomy. First, the straw would have buckled trying to get it into the airway. The cartilage and soft tissues would have to be manually separated in order to get the straw in easily. Next, the straw on its own is not strong enough to hold the airway open and will be squeezed shut by the cartilage and soft tissues. Finally, the straw diameter is too small and one of the bystanders should be blowing into the straw to help the person breathe. In this scene from the TV show House, all the steps so far have been performed correctly except for a few minor details. First, I would expect there to be even more bleeding. Next, one can see a trach tube being inserted, but the type of tube being used has a hole in it which typically would not be used in this situation. Rather, the correct trach tube used would not be fenestrated and would also have a balloon at the tip as shown here. Please note the doctor used a spreader correctly in order to open up the soft tissues and cartilage in order to get the tube into the airway. Even with a medical grade large diameter tube, bag ventilation is still performed to help the patient breathe which reiterates the importance of helping a person breathe especially when a drinking straw or pen is used. Overall, nicely depicted emergency airway. Damn it. I gotta make a hole so you can breathe. In 
this scene from a later episode of House, a prisoner suffers a food-related anaphylactic shock with airway obstruction from swelling. Dr. House only had a pen to perform an emergency cricothyroidotomy, but I questioned how easily he could have incised the skin and entered the airway using just the tip of a pen. Well, in reality, you can't. There should also be a lot more bleeding. Get away from him. He's having an allergic reaction. He can't breathe. Lie on the ground with your hands behind your head. Alvarez, look at what I'm doing. It's a tracheotomy. Come on, man. You know I'm a doctor. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I have no idea. Given the location of the pen, it really does look like a tracheostomy was performed given how low it is in the neck. Also, the patient is audibly grunting, which is not possible if he truly had an airway obstruction. Rather, noises from the air going in and out of the pen should only be heard. Bits of blood would also fly out of the pen to be truly realistic. There should be a lot more bleeding present around the pen as well. Not like you always do. Oh, he's choking! Okay, I've, I've got it. I've got it. Sir, somebody call an ambulance! Okay, I got it. Call, I got it. Check his mouth! Check his mouth! There's nothing okay. in there! In this scene from the movie Heat, a restaurant patron starts to choke from a piece of food. The Heimlich maneuver is attempted correctly and the mouth examined, though honestly, without a flashlight, I'm not sure how well the mouth truly can be visualized. Let's lay him down. Sir, just relax. Everything will be just fine. Let me get his head back. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's choking. I need, a, okay. I need a knife and a straw, please. I need a knife and a straw, please. Ah. Before jumping to an emergency crack with aridotomy, the mouth should be re-examined and a finger sweep performed. I need to perform an emergency tracheotomy. I'm going to need what? a glass of vodka. Vodka? It's a ditty. Uh, for sterilization, hot water. Vodka, due to its alcohol content, would be better than nothing to sterilize the skin, but honestly not sure how well that would work. Also, do not pour hot water on the skin. That would probably cause more damage from burns than any help provided by skin sterilization. Also, a cricothotomy will be performed and not a trach. You know what you're doing? Technically, you're technically, technically no, but I've been, I've been doing some research and I feel fairly confident I know how. Fairly confident? Oh, Jesus, okay. he's still choking, okay, you know. Okay, sir, Isn't what I'm going to do is I'm going to find your... Oh, God, don't... Please don't put that Shh, in. Shh, stop don't touching me. So, the cricothyroid membrane. I think, I think it's oh, right here. I'm going to make a small incision. Let go my hand. Let go my Let go my hand. I'm going to make a small incision. The reason I'm doing this... Oh, oh God. Note that Sandra Bullock's character correctly stated trying to find the crack with our memory while feeling the neck with her fingers. That's all correct. When making the incision, a good amount of bleeding occurs, which is also fairly realistic. It's because you're choking. I'm going to cut it. Wow, okay, it's a little bigger. Wow, okay, it goes in deeper than I thought. All good so far, especially her statement about the incision having to go much deeper than she imagined. That's true even for healthcare professionals where I've seen incisions made way too superficially. I'm gonna insert my fingers in here don't because what's your, happening don't is- Don't put your finger in there. Don't put your finger in there. Oh, that feels a lot different. The incision made appears to be horizontal rather than vertical. But using the fingers to feel for the crack with our membrane is not incorrect. Also, note how far the fingers go into the neck. That looks about right. It's a membrane, okay? It's like a, a fucking different. horror show. Don't put your fingers in there. Yeah. Sir, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the straw in the hole, oh. and it's going to allow the oxygen to get to your brain. Now, if you're going to yeah. one moment, you're going to feel the oxygen flow into your brain. That's there we go. That's not oxygen. As mentioned before, trying to insert a straw would not be possible as it would buckle trying to get it into the airway. The cartilage and soft tissues would have to be manually separated in order to get the straw in easily. Indeed, the straw is not in the airway, which is why you see blood coming up and out of the straw instead. But the amount of bleeding shown overall appears to be accurately portrayed. Jesus Christ, oh my it's God! Oxygen. Oh my God, that's a lot of blood! Oh my God! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. oh my God, there's so much blood! I don't know what I'm doing! Right. Right. You did this! Ah, it's an ambulance coming! So I'm it. sorry! I got it. I got I'm it. so oh. sorry! What are you doing? Oh. Fortunately, an aggressive abdominal thrust was performed by a sledgehammer punch, resulting in food getting coughed out by the patient. Overall, a failed emergency crack with aridotomy, but ultimately successful Heimlich maneuver. In conclusion, rarely is an emergency crack with aridotomy perfectly depicted in film and TV. A straw will not work in real life. 
A pen can work given it is a rigid tubular structure, but one must help the patient breathe by blowing into the pen. But when you are outside of a hospital, you use the materials you have on hand, and on that regard, the director and actors do an admirable job in spite of some factual lapses. But as is true with most Hollywood productions, it is still fun to watch even if it's not realistic.